This is the CompuKit UK101. I'm going to put it into BASIC and let it use all of the memory for BASIC. Now I'll do a quick poke command. And this selects 1200 board and it also selects the uh, RS232 port for loading. So this data is coming over the R232 connection from a Linux machine where I'm just sending the data through the Linux machine's uh, serial port. What you're seeing on the screen here is the source code, the, the basic program for my little game which I've written for Ludum Dare for the Mini LD number 50, which is a demake. The idea of a demake is to take a modern game and remake it on a much smaller platform, much older platform in this case. This machine's about 34 years old now. I built it in 1980, in, in February of that year, uh, from a kit. Uh, the machine still works. I've modified it quite a bit since then. All this messing about with adjustable board rates and um, RS232 inputs, that, that's all stuff that I've added to the machine. It would normally be a cassette load, and it would normally load at a quarter of this speed, at 300 board, from a cassette tape. It's almost at the end of it. There we go. OK, so now we can list the program in the good old-fashioned uh, manner that we're all familiar with, the basic machines, like the Commodore PET, the Commodore 64, that kind of machine. It's very much the same basic as those. So there we have it. Um, if I run that, uh, we should see the instructions. There we go. The um, instructions, very simple. A key to flap up, Z key to flap down. I haven't got the arrangement where the... Um, the plan is to flap up continuously. It's simply up and down with A and Z. So here we go. We need to flap up a little bit. Just get it into the middle of that gap there. Um, now all of the drawing of the obstacles that are scrolling across the screen is being done in assembler. The basic reason that is to make it go fast enough. This machine runs at 2 MHz, which means that it's twice as fast as the original CompuKit, which ran at 1 MHz. So on a real CompuKit, this would go half as fast. You can see it isn't exactly lightning quick, even now. The only part of the program which is still in BASIC is the keyboard polling routine, the thing that prints the score, uh, the collision detection, that's all in, 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 in BASIC, uh, but the drawing of the obstacles is all happening in a little assembler routine, which is put into some spare memory that the CompuKit community has available just below the, the basic uh, program memory um, and that's doing all of this uh, drawing. You can see some glitching on the screen there, that's just a factor of the, the um, CompuKit hardware. Whenever you write to screen memory you get a glitch, black glitch. Um, now because I'm writing fairly large amounts to the screen memory to draw these obstacles uh, you get quite a lot of black glitching. Unfortunately nothing we can do about it. On emulator, that's probably not going to be emulated. I'm doing okay at the moment, just um, getting through these obstacles. Uh, no doubt I'll I'll hit one in a minute because I'm not very good at the game. Um, there we go. Oh no, I think actually I got away with that. Looks like I may have a slight collision detection issue. That looks like I almost hit one. Um, benefit the doubt, I guess. Um, how are we doing? Score 290, score now 300, you get 10, oh, 10 points for each, ah, there we go. Uh, 10 points for each obstacle that you successfully pass by. You can see how slow the basic is at writing to the screen when it displayed that press any key message, um, and it showed up really quite slowly. That's all happening in basic, poking to the screen. So there we have it, Ludum Dare, Mini LD50, DMake. Uh, a game on a 34-year-old CompuKit UK101.